Yo, 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 what's going on? So I did this challenge with some cool people. What is up, guys? Alrighty, so I made the song. It was 24 hour window that we had to complete this song. All of you guys did a great job with the sample. Make a song in 24 hours using one sample. It was a good challenge. We did all of this in 24 hours. I hope we can do it again. Gosh, come on. 9.40, one, on Sunday morning. It had to be done by 11 a.m. Uh, the file is in the community Dropbox folder that we all agreed on. All four songs are completed. I haven't listened to any of the others. I'm going to save that for uh, later tonight. We could ride the light waves Together ignore all the sound waves How do we get, how do we get so brave? How do we get, how do we get so brave? And we could ride the tidal waves Together escaping all the gamma rays Tell me how do we get, how do we get so brave? Tell me how do we get, how do we get so brave? I just got home. I downloaded everybody's tracks. I have not heard any of them. I'm about to listen to them. So let's go. Right now. Right away. <clears throat> I love this with three other producers to uh, Moog, Moog style. We could ride the light waves, gather north, all the sound waves. How do we get, how do we get so brave? How do we get, how do we get so brave? And we could ride the time. Build up. Build up. I love those vocals. Those are And then it ends with those great chords. Bless. Great job, Mr. Sam Beatrix. <sighs> Love that track. Um, wow. That was that that was really, really good. Yeah, kind of, you know, that it's gonna be that whole thing, but um dude, yeah. <laughs> That's like I wanna like learn elements of that kind of stuff and apply it to what I do. Sometimes I feel like I have empty um, th like sometimes I feel like my music could, I'd like to spice it up in that sort of way. I want a full version of that track because God bless that, that first drop. Mm, so good. That was really interesting. 
So it started off as like an EDM dance track because you had like the build up and then by the end of it, it completely turned into like a hip hop vibe with the snare and like the beat. And then, okay, so the drop, the drop when it just went silenced, I'm gonna listen to that again actually, hold up. Yeah, so it just cut out completely. That was a cool, that was a cool thing. Yeah, I almost went a, hi a hip hop vibe, um, I, but I didn't. So it was really cool to actually hear that. And I hope you guys like mine as well. It was a good challenge. We did all of this in 24 hours. I hope we can do it again. Thanks. The, peop the, the producers I worked with, this was definitely more up their alley than, than me. I was definitely coming out of, uh, coming out of my lane into a different lane. Definitely, um, it was, a, it was a cool, fun experience. Now. Ooh, completely different vibe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh, sounds place. like Christmas. Holiday, like good feels. Like jazz. And we could ride the light waves together, ignore all the sound waves. How do we get, how do we get so? Like a dark finish there. Sweet. Georgie, your track was good too. I like the style, it was different, laid back, chill. And I like that you took a different approach to it. It was nice. Great work. I, I like that. That could, if it was like a full, like 3.30, four minute song, that would lead so well into like a, just a nice little bridge, maybe like a drop key bridge and then bring it back up in key for the final chorus. Bless. Love it, Georgie. Fantastic job. And you knocked it out in like six hours too, which is incredible. That was a completely different take on, whoa, okay. Yeah, so compared to Sammy's, uh, Georgie's is like completely different direction. It's more chill, more laid back. Uh, the sample kind of like creeps in and then goes back down. Pretty cool. Okay, on to the next one. Uh, before we go any further with my track, I do want to kind of throw a little thing in there and say I went through so many ideas with this track. I was just kind of like, ah, I don't know where I'm going to go with it. Uh, and like it was just like plan A turned to plan B, which turned to plan C. And then at like 8 a.m. the morning, I'm supposed to have it done by 11. I redid the whole thing and was like starting from scratch. And I made it more of like a sample based track because um, really like my songs take 
an ungodly amount of time for me to be creative with the whole track. Like 250 hours on a track, which we had 24. So, uh, I pulled a lot of samples in there, but really kind of wrote the, um, the synth melody myself. Um, so, let me know what you guys think. Here is the track. It's called So Brave by Junith. say busy but not busy in a bad way it was just um yeah there's just like the the way the percussion was it was like footsteps or dancing or something super lively that was awesome john your track was great i liked it it was like bouncy groovy i was i could bop the, to that all day i like the electronic melody at like 60 seconds came in it was like loved it whoa okay so when i said that there would be three different approaches or all different approaches to the song i was right so that one had kind of like an upbeat like i really like the backbeat of like i don't i think there was a snare and claps or like a shaker like an acoustic drum you know um one of those boxes but completely different direction i really like that backbeat and then he went to his um, his synths, which are always big and always like really melodic. Uh, so that was really cool. And wow. Yeah, props to Andrew Huang for like giving me the inspiration to actually do this. Cause like if I was just going about it by myself, like this would, like this kind of a project would never have come to my mind because when I work on a song, I'll work on a little bit within over the course of like three weeks, but never have I like sat down and said, okay, I'm gonna write this song start to finish, no matter what, and deliver whatever is there at the end of that 24 hour period. Check this one out. And play. <clears throat> Imani's vocals, the vocal effects are always so good. So good. Oof. Oh, that bass. Ba -na -na. We 
sick that was sick wow oh my god and many months that was sick i was thinking of like mission impossible when those kicks came in it was like <laughs> like a soundtrack style and i loved it it was great Great job. I just, okay, before we go any further, I just want to say, Imani's vocal effects are always fucking god tier. Like, they're so good, and all of the background sounds blended so well together. Like, ah! Great track, Imani. I would love, and this goes for Georgi and Sam Beatrix as well, I would love to hear the full versions of these tracks. Like, if they were created into, like, full 3 minute, 30 second, or 4 minute, even 4.30 songs, ah! They'd go straight onto my iPod, for reals. Um, but yes, those, those claps, how it ch -ch -ch -ch, uh, kind of like pans sometimes, love them. Um, really great job, Imani. Also great job to Georgi and Sam Beatrix. Killed it. Like, this is just a prime example of when you have completely different people approaching the same thing, the outcome is completely different because we all have we all mix differently we all produce differently we all use we have a like i as a producer always gravitate towards certain sounds because uh i just really like it so you can really tell and get a feel for someone's style just hearing how they interpret a sample it was a really cool project and uh i'll put another video of me going into depth of what i did in my production kind of like a step-by-step -step in logic of how i did it a little bit later this week and yeah my name's imani j codename i mini mus peace out j out